What it do, my name Cootie, and I just jumped off the porch with Dirty Glove Bouncers. AP, water, my wrist, a quarter. What's that? Protect, ayy, give me respect. Alright, so we got the one and only Big Cootie jumping off the porch with us today, man. Yeah, we on the porch, yes. jumping off the porch. Yes, sir, man. Welcome. How you feeling today, man? Feeling great. Yeah, man. Nah, I appreciate you coming by, man. I've been waiting to do this one with you for a minute, too, bro. Yeah, it's all good. For sure, man. Go ahead and introduce everyone you got sitting up there with you today, too, man. I got my boy Shiesty with me. My boy Raymond. I got Big Heavy, Buster, and I got my sis Angel with me. Okay. That's yeah. good. Yeah, so what else you got shaking here in Atlanta during this trip, man? What else you got planned? Shooting some videos, man. Knocking out some good videos. Okay. Yeah. How do you like the vibes here in Atlanta? And how does it compare to back at home? It's more way more bigger, you know, more traffic. I like it out here, though. You like the traffic? I mean, nah. <laughs> I fucking hate the traffic. Not the traffic, yeah. but, you know, just Atlanta, period. I fuck with it. Yeah. You think about making that move down here, or? Maybe one day. I don't know. Huh. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where I want to be right now, though. Okay. I feel that, man. Yeah. All right. So, from Blytheville, man. Yeah. Um, only had a handful of rappers sit up on this porch from there, man. So, yeah, yeah you know, obviously your boy Fizzle. Uh, and I yeah. think one other artist before you guys. Yeah. So, like, just kind of talk about, like, the culture up there. What's life like? What's there to do, man? It's small, man. Really ain't much to do. You know, you just really, you kick it with your people here. That's what we do. We kick it with our people. We make fun. <laughs> it ain't big. We don't got a lot of place to eat from, you know. It's just like a small little town, country town. Okay, yeah. Just make fun, have fun, you know, kick it. Ain't nothing wrong with that, man. Yeah. So what do you feel like are some misconceptions when you tell people, like, I'm from Arkansas, man. Do they think, like, you from, like, a very small town type shit? Yeah, or? So, yeah they, they know it's small because, you know, some people ain't never heard of Lyle sometimes. So <laughs> it's nah, real small. Yeah, I never heard of it till you and Fizzle started popping. You ain't heard of Lyle either? No, nah, man. I'm from Florida. What part? Oh, uh, Miami and Tampa. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, so it's like, I ain't never heard of that shit until y'all yeah. started. See, popping. that's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's a real smile, man. Yeah. Do you feel like the city's changed much since when you were younger up until today, or is it nah, pretty much the same shit going it's on? It's the same. It ain't changed much. It's just different years. Yeah. <laughs> I dig that. Yeah. So, like, how would you describe your childhood then? Like, were you in the sports as a kid? Were you yeah. always in the music? Or I what? played football, basketball, baseball. I played all of them. I was a sports player. Okay. Yeah, I love the sports. Hmm. Yeah. So, when, did you play, like, all the way through school, or did you stop yeah, like, playing? Yeah, like, like, about ninth grade. Okay. Yeah. I started all them years to, like, ninth grade. For Man, real? Some, you know, yeah. Okay. So yeah. when would you say you jumped off the porch then? How old were you? Ninth grade. Okay. <laughs> probably about, I don't know, probably about, well, how old are you, 19, 11, about 15 years old. Okay, yeah. Off the porch, all the way off the porch, you feel me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you have much guidance out there? Did you have any, like, big homies? Was your, was your pops around, or? My pop was in the fed, so. Oh, sure. I had my homeboy, D. Wills, with me all the time, every day, so. You know, we was our own guidance. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So did you end up finishing high school or? No. Nah. No, nah, I ain't, I ain't I, like 11th grade. They wanted me to, I missed some days, so they wanted me to come back 12th grade. I mean, my people graduate, then I come back and do go to December the next year. Oh, for real? No. Nah. You didn't want to do them extra three, four months. No, nah, huh? I can't do that. <laughs> no. Nah. Yeah. So were you working like a regular job at that time, or what were you doing? No, nah, I ain't never had a job. I just was chilling, finding ways. Hmm. Yeah. What would you say has been one of the biggest obstacles you had to overcome in your life so far? You know, for you to be able to make it and sit on this porch with us today. It really ain't nothing I just had to overcome. It's just what I had to adjust to with music, you know. Hmm. It just take a lot of time, so it's just about adjustments now, you know. Full job, got to work. Oh, yeah. Nah, that's real. Yeah. So how long have you been rapping? When did you actually like start? Probably about uh, about about a year and a half ago, and when we did that. Uh, but I've been wanting to. But one of my homeboys, he used to rap, and he had went to jail. So when he went to jail, 
you know, I was young, so I got with Fizzle. My brother brought Fizzle over there. Fizzle was rapping, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So we done a little song and shit, and it went from there. What was that first song? Was that sliding, or did you guys have something before that? We did one before that. We didn't release it. For real? Yeah, we didn't release it. But yeah. sliding was the first one. Okay. And Fizzle, yeah. he was young at that time, right? What was he, about 16? Yeah, he was real young. Yeah. He was so, real young. like, when you meet Fizzle, do y'all click instantly? It's like... Yeah, I fucked it with him. I fucked it with Fizzle. <laughs> Yeah. It was like a lot. <laughs> huh. What's yeah. that chemistry like when you guys are in the studio then recording that? It's good. It's just vibes, man. Ideas come. Listen to a hard ass beat. The ideas just come. Yeah. Make some hits. Okay. Yeah. So what was it about sliding that you guys were like, all right, this is the one we gonna put out. This is gonna be the first one we dropped. In. Cause when, when he when he had this part already. So when he had this part, he had Sunday to me, but I really you know, he was rapping, he used to make Facebook videos, but I really wanted this. Then he was like, come on, man, let's go on and do it, let's go on and do it. And then I knew he snapped, so when I put my part on there, they were fucking with it. Really? Yeah, they were fucking with it. Did you expect it to go up like it did? I think it's like over 130,000. Nah, 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 I really, I really didn't. It was just the first song, the video went all the way to part, you know, we just <laughs> song one mix, so we ain't know nothing. <laughs> we just were trying some. Yeah. yeah. Does it go up right away, or does it take some time for people to discover it? Fizzle put it on his YouTube, so he ain't really had no subscribers, but it, yeah. it got to like 30,000 pretty at a good pace. So, you know, from where we from, we ain't got 30,000 in the city. That's wild. So <laughs> we say, yeah, it did good for a first video. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's dope. So who'd you grow up listening to? Like, who was some of your favorite artists back then? Back then, like, is in what? Like, say, like middle school, high school, who was you listening NBA. to? NBA. For real? All I listen to. <laughs> yeah. I don't really listen to a lot of artists, though. Okay. Yeah. That's my favorite. You been able to meet him yet or cook no. up or reach yeah, out to him? Actually, when he, years ago, I didn't meet him, but I went to one of his shows in Biloxi, Mississippi. Okay. That was my first time ever seeing him. Oh, that's all right there. I yeah. think y'all two would cook up some shit, too. You man. think so? Yeah. Afraid. <laughs> <laughs> so would you say you started taking music serious right away? Like as soon as you guys dropped sliding or it take a while for you to It took a little while. We after we did that we had a lot more music but we didn't really drop it. We were working on tapes, but we got some phone calls. So then it's just how they went. Then we started, you know, we still got a lot of music now though, but yeah. you know, it's just getting better and better. Nah, for real. What was one of the first solo songs that you dropped that really took off then? Real trap nigga, him, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that one right there did good. Okay. When did you drop they that? They knew it word for word. I dropped that after after sliding, I think. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I dropped that after that. What about the song Superfly? They like, came after that. Yeah. What well, was after that? we made that song? We been made that song. That song we had it in the pocket for about six months. For real. So one day we called Zach. We got the little building, we got all this stuff in a matter of uh, one day. Hmm. Suits and everything, we just brainstormed and we're gonna go here, we're gonna go there. Yeah. Boom, now that reaction was real good. Oh yeah, that shit went crazy. It yeah, went stupid there, yeah. What was that studio session like when you guys recorded? Like who picked that beat out? Feels heavy. For real? <laughs> yeah. He that picked that beat out. He there, picked man. that beat out and Phil came up with that hook and boom. Uh -huh. Yeah, it went crazy then. We had this on for a long time, though. So what made you guys finally say, fuck it, let's go ahead and shoot this video? So we then. said, man, we got to start putting this out now, man. We got to put it out. We holding it. It ain't going to do nothing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I dig that. So yeah. how'd you get your rap name? Is that just like your nickname that you had in the hood? Or? Yeah, I had that when I was a little kid. One of my uncles used to call me Cootie. But he used to say <laughs> Cootie Brown. So, you know, I just, <laughs> he used to say from downtown, got a girlfriend that can't go down. That's what he always said. Yeah. So that's just how they came. I dig that, yeah. man. Yeah. So how motivating was it when, uh, you know, Fizzle was able to sign his deal, man? Like, shit, we on our way. We putting on for the city, man. Yeah, that, that was some hell of a momentum. Yeah. Real momentum right there. Lit. Then he was in high school. History. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah especially was, for your city, man. Yeah, history. Back-to-back yeah. -back signings. You signed with APG, right? Yeah, APG. So why APG, man? I'm sure everyone was reaching out to you. Yeah, I had a lot of people reaching out. A lot, especially after that Superfly. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, I did. So what was about that situation that made most sense for you then? You know, APG was like the first people. It was the first people. And it was unbelievable to me anyway. I was ready, so. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. how that went. And how important would you say it is to have a team behind you like that? I you love, know, especially I, when you guys were fresh in there. Like you said, you guys didn't even know what you were doing. Yeah, I love, I love APG. You know, it's teachings. I got to learn every day, though, but you know what I'm saying? They're going to get me right. Yeah. Um, what were you going through that day you dropped on the house, man? <laughs> that shit was crazy. We were lit that day. We were lit that day. That was a fun one right there. Yeah. That was a fun one on the house. It was fun. <laughs> we were lit that day. We always out there just trying to come up with some idea. We own the house, so y'all got to get up there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what we saying in the song. You expect that one to go crazy? Over a million, man. I kind of knew. that It jumped up too quick. I knew them lyrics was... <laughs> Them lyrics was there, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Good momentum swing. For sure. Yeah. So what's the music scene like in Blytheville right now, man? It's a lot of people that rap. You know, it's a lot of them. It's a lot of them rap. They cool out there. It's a lot of them rapping. Yeah. I just stay in my lane and mind my business, though. I feel that. But it's a lot of them. Do you feel like there's a lot of unity in the city amongst the artists? Like what you mean by unity? Like most of the artists fucking with each other, supporting each other, they going, you know, post you and shit like that? Or is it yeah. more like they just I kind feel of they do. It? I feel everybody show support. I feel everybody show support. Yeah. Yeah, they do a good job with that. Yeah. You know, I show support. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Arkansas has been on this nice run, what, the last two, three years now? Why do you feel like it took so long for people to, you know, notice the talent out there in Arkansas? Because it's so small and it's hard to be heard from there. It's hard to be heard from there. It's just small. Kind of unbelievable to make it out of Arkansas. Yeah. You can't name a list of rappers on your hand. Uh, that's true, yeah. So that's a blessing to be able to make it out. Yep, real shit. Small. Hmm. It's hard to make it with music. Would you say you get more support like in Arkansas or elsewhere at this point? I say Arkansas. Arkansas showed me real support, but I really don't know about the other spots, you know, like that. But, okay. you know, everywhere, but I just don't know, no. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So what are these shows looking like right now, man? When, when I got some performing? coming up. I got a free room coming up. Yeah. One in Little Rocks, one somewhere, you know. Okay. Yeah. yeah. They coming. If ne someone's never seen, a, you know, a performance by you, what are they in store? What, what should they expect to see? Somehow when I'm performing, we live. <laughs> That's the funnest part of it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We turn, we done had some pack out show. Word for word. Yeah. Lit, yeah, we have fun with that. What songs get the best reaction right now? It's the cool though. <laughs> <laughs> Real trap nigga, it's a free run. Yeah. Yeah, we got a free run, it, they go crazy. Okay. Now, is there any like nice studios in your city, or is it mostly just nah, like we, home studios? we record at home. We don't go okay. nowhere. Yeah, we don't go no. It ain't no big studio or nothing. We got our own studio. We just we do that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we like to be there. Yeah. So what's been like, you know, to travel the country? I see you be out in L.A. You be out of Miami. Yeah. You here in Atlanta, man. I've been so stuck to Blava, man. It's 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 fun now when I leave. It's fun now to move around these different places because I never really, I've been places coming up, but you know, just having fun now. We're kicking it. Yeah. We've been in Blava too long. It's time to have fun. <laughs> Real shit, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Have you been surprised by how quickly everything's moved? Like, I'm sure your life's changed yeah. a lot these last year and a half, two years. Huh? Yeah, it's it, it been cool. I just, it ain't no limit though. I want to get up there, up there. You know what I'm saying? Working process, got to work. What I gotta do. Yeah. I ain't where I wanna be. It's just a start right now. Oh. It's coming though. I feel it. Nah, you definitely on your way, man. Yeah. I don't even number speak for itself, you know. Yeah. yeah. Most definitely. How would you describe like your transition coming into the music industry? Is it pretty much what you thought? Has it been harder than you thought, or? No, nah, it's just you don't really know till you get in. You know what I'm saying? It look easy, but you gotta work. Yeah. It's a job every day. You gotta do something. You can't just sit down or you're going to be stuck in one spot. Real shit, yeah. So you got to work, work, work. Yeah. 
Yeah, it looks like you get more love than hate online. Is that true? Yeah, because I don't, I don't bother nobody or nothing. I mind my business. I don't fool with people. You know what I'm saying? So if they just come fucking with me, then, you know, they just doing yeah. it. It's like you're not giving them a reason to hate you. You nah, know what I'm saying? You, I don't feed into You kind of just stay in your own lane and shit. So yeah. I don't see you, like, chasing cloud, doing any type of nah, gimmicks or anything like that. I just know how to be cool, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. What would you say has been one of the biggest sacrifices you had to make in your life for you to be successful then? Biggest sacrifice? I mean, I ain't really just got one. It's just time, really. Time gone, away from family. Yeah. Yeah, that's about it. But it's fun. <laughs> yeah, shit. <laughs> yeah. You got a son, right? Yeah, I got one son. Okay. Yeah. What has being a father taught you about life these past couple years? I had to get my shit together when I had him. Mm. Had to. That's all I was thinking about. Yeah. Had him young. <laughs> How young were you? I think I was about 15 or 16. Ooh. <laughs> That's young. You was a kid having a kid. Yeah, I was. I was, <laughs> man. Yeah. yeah. Um, so you got the new song out, man. Don't miss. Yeah. Don't what can miss. you tell us about that song? Like, what was the inspiration when you uh, made that one? Don't miss. I had a little melody in there. I can't miss. I don't miss. You feel me? I'm talking about that music. Can't miss with it. Yeah, yeah I like, fuck with that song. I just dropped two and one today, too, with my homeboy. Yep. What can you tell us about Torn? What did I tell you about what? Torn. Torn was just some life, real life stuff right there, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> More of the pain side. Okay. Yeah. Do you write your raps or you just be punching in or you do yeah, a little bit? Yeah, write them. Yeah. That's rare these days. Not too many people writing their raps. Yeah, I, I know. A lot of people punch in. Yeah. So why, I, do, why do you prefer to write then? I'm a rookie right now. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Them uh, thoughts got to come in. One day they might be able to. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. When do you feel like you make your best music then? Is like when you're in a good mood, when you're going through some real life shit, when you're in a pissed really, off mood or? Really, it just all depends. It just really, the mood swing, I be just, I be chilling and high, you know what I'm saying? At home, boom, then just get in there. Yeah. Yeah. Who are some of the producers you've been working with lately? I be having uh, different ones, like a guy named Cutter been sending me a lot of uh, beats, uh, Go Grizz, KJ, is Jabbar. They, they, they did in different spots. Zay, you know, they all in different spots. So I work with a lot of people. I just like to hear that sound, you know what I mean? Yeah. I think what was it like working on uh, Welcome to the Trap, man? Because that was your first project, right? Yeah, that was the first project. I did a lot of that in L.A. Okay, yeah. It was cool, though. We was just stuck in the studio. We were for there real? for a minute. Uh -huh. Yeah, knocking them out. Yeah. Yeah, Welcome to the Trap. Did it do what you thought it was going to do? It looked like your fans really fucked with that. Yeah, they did. You know, I ain't never know what it was going to do. Mm -hmm. You know, I just had to put it out. It did really good, though. Yeah. First take. Nah, for real. We got up there. Yeah. Some fans are asking, where the next one, man? We're working. <laughs> it's getting better and better. We're just picking them out. We're steady going, but it's on the way. Okay. Most definitely. You got a title picked out, or? Yeah, uh, I think Trap Baby. That's what we was thinking on, but you know, okay. we don't just know yet. Yeah. Yeah. So how's this new music sounding? Like, what type of vibes have you been putting down? It's all different type of vibes. It's getting better, man. It's new music. Shit hard. Hard. Yeah. You plan to put any features on that one? Yeah, we're going to get some features. We're going to get some. Okay. Yeah. So when do you think it's going to drop? This summer? Fall time? What are you thinking? Yeah, probably this summer sometime in a few months or something. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's coming, most definitely. Yeah. What's the next single or video you plan to put out? You got something already shot? Uh, yeah, we shooting. We shooting one right now, two-tone. We're shooting it. That's the next one gonna hit these, hit the, hit the two. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's it's hard too. Yeah. Man, you gotta show us this ice, man. Huh? So you gotta oh, show yeah. us the ice, man. So what chain did you get first? I got this one right here first. Okay. It was my first one. This chain, I got the chain first, then got that. This long little JP, my little cousin right there. Oh. This was. Uh, then we got that one. Then just got some more Cubans and 
And this one right here. That's it's the cool one, right? real trap nigga. Got the hogs right here, Arkansas. Yeah, I see yeah, that. That's we represent in all type of ways. That's too bad. Yeah. So what can you tell us about your cousin uh, that passed away? He was a little, he was young. He was like 16 years old. Oh, damn. Yeah. So I got to rep him forever, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I miss him, though. I feel that. Yeah. What's some advice you would share to the youth coming up right now? Whatever you're doing, just keep doing it. Never give up on anything, anything believable. Sure. And pray. So what's next for you? Like, what's some goals you got set for yourself? Number one, I want to go number one on my tapes. Real goals. I just want to be big as I can, man. Yeah. Yeah. How proud is your family of everything that you've been able to accomplish? Then? They're real proud. Real, real proud, yeah. They're real proud. My grandmother and them, you know, <laughs> yeah. What about your pops? You got a relationship with your pops? Right? Yeah, real proud. Is he, is he home now? Yeah, he home. Okay, that's what's up. Yeah, he home now. We kicking it. That's dope. Yeah. yeah. You got any shout outs you want to give before uh, we wrap it up here? Shout outs. <laughs> um, shout out to my people, all my people and my supporters. Hope they keep doing it. Yeah. On the journey. Yeah. AP, water, my wrist, a quarter. What's that? Protect, ayy. Give me respect, ayy. She know I'm the richest.